Welcome to another edition of the Age of Spinal Medicine. Hi, I'm your host, Vanessa Hill. In this day and age, spine problems are very common. Did you know that 80% of you will experience some form of back pain in your lifetime? I couldn't even go shopping at the grocery store without stopping halfway down an aisle. And you just stop and wait until the pain passes. Seen me on my head off the end of the couch, hanging down with my head in a certain, with my neck in a certain way, and he's like, what are you doing? It does something to your, your mental attitude. It does something to your whole body. You're just exhausted, you're fatigued, you can't sleep. It became depressing. I mean, I, I, I would lay in and just pray for one hour of relief. Not a day, just, just I just wanted one hour. During the next half hour, you'll hear wonderful stories of success and renewed hope for many who thought they just had to live in pain. But after coming to Southeastern Spine, they were totally changed and got back to the simple things of life. Now I think I can do anything I want to do. Um, I have started playing golf again. I can swim. I can bike. It will give you a totally new life. You know, it would change it just like it did mine. I really and truly, I owe my life to the Spine Center. I, that might sound hokey, but, but I do because of, of the new life that I have. If you got back pain and somebody fixes it, it's a big thing. Till you've had it, you don't know. Always one step ahead, the Southeastern Spine Institute presents another edition of the Age of Spinal Medicine. This episode, one patient at a time. Once again, your host, Vanessa Hill. Chronic pain over time can change a person's outlook on life or even alter their personality. You've all probably known someone suffering with chronic pain. They can be irritable, a bit touchy, and even hard to be around. Uh, I'm getting out of shape. I'm always hurting. I'm irritable, jumpy. Um, snapping and you don't even realize it. People are like, wow, what's wrong with you? His whole demeanor changed. And you know, like my kids said, he just was cranky. He was mean. Pain makes you mean. <laughs> but when that kind of pain affects the athletic director and football coach of a Division I high school, well, it can be hard on a lot of people, his students, his team, and especially his family. Living with a coach is hard, but when you add back pain when he's in pain 24 7 um, it's it's a lot harder I'm, I'm sure I was a total pain in the butt trickles down from the boss man all the way down to the kids I tell you all of us catch it even the dog was getting it we were real upset about him and couldn't wait for him to have surgery and hopefully things would get better I was hurting and I know my kids and my wife and my players and my coaches are probably a whole hell of a lot happier I got that surgery than I am. He could not bend over and tie his shoes. He could not put his socks on. I did that many a morning for him. <laughs> and he didn't like me having to do that for him. Daughter or wife, they're the only two I'd let tie my shoes. And a couple times they got out the door before I did. There were days here I walked around with my shoes untied like a teenager does. As a coach, Frank had dealt with injuries his entire career and had gotten to know Dr. Johnson and his team at the Southeastern Spine Institute. Being in athletics, obviously, we have so many athletes get injured. Dealing with doctors like we do, it was easy for me to pick. I've known Coach for many years. He's a very active man. Coach is not just the football coach. He's the athletic director of his school, so he's got lots of people that depend on him. We got 27 sports here. and. You know, it's big time Division One football, and I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't really do that. You know, people said, "Take a pain pill." I said, "Well, shoot, how am I going to do my job?" Five more you got to make. Okay, be positive. But you know, you do what you got to do. But it was by far the most pain I've ever dealt with, and still tried to to do my job. Couldn't even stand up right, and couldn't walk right. It was. I know he was, it was rough, because he doesn't ever complain about anything. After doing everything to avoid surgery and stay on the football field, Coach finally hit the end of the line. I didn't really ever want to get operated on. I fought it as, as long as I could. The non-operative treatments worked for a while, but his pain then got worse and worse. We finally had to operate. The thing that, I guess, impressed me the most, how quick you get back. 
they told me to get out and walk the day after surgery, and I, I was walking like four miles three or four days after surgery. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing what those guys can do. The back surgery is much different than it was years ago. Back surgery, I think understandably, it had a very bad reputation. But back surgery has evolved, particularly over the last 20 years. The incisions we make now are with endoscopic tubes, often less than an inch. Surgeries take much less than an hour. Out of bed walking the same day, the back exercising within a couple weeks, and back to life doing everything you want to do. I'm a lot better. I tie my shoes. That's the best thing. I play some golf. I don't swing as hard, which is a good thing. I play a little better, to be honest with you. We're playing golf on Sundays, he's happy coaching football, I tell you. All the kids on the team are happy, the coaches are happy, and my family's happy. They become like family to us. I mean, when you work with a patient from the time you see them when they're in a lot of pain, and you get them better, and they come in with a smile, and, and they're so happy, just like family, you want to put the pictures up on the wall. We don't ask for the pictures. They bring them in <laughs> and ask us to hang them up. <laughs> I gave him a picture, and I wrote on there, thanks for giving me my coaching career back, because I don't think I'd last it too much longer. I was, I was hurting. I would tell anybody that's living with back pain that it's foolish to do so nowadays. They need to go see a specialist. They need to hear about the modern techniques. I think there's too many people living with back problems that don't need to be. If you got back pain and somebody fixes it, it's a big thing. Until you've had it, you don't know. I'll tell you that much. Did you know that over 70,000 people search the internet for back pain issues every day? Well, if you're one of the people searching for answers, you may have found them right here at the Southeastern Spine Institute in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. We see over 7,000 new patients every year and have 55,000 patients currently being treated in our practice. And our practice is not a local practice. Over 60% of our patients travel over 150 miles to see us. There's been such a demand from uh, patients that have come here. Hopefully they've been satisfied patients because the practice continues to grow. Many medical facilities call themselves an institute or a medical center, although they only offer limited treatment and solutions. Here at the Southeastern Spine Institute, we truly have most everything under one roof. The reason that we call ourselves an institute is that we only specialize in treating back problems. We have nationally renowned experts in the field of spinal medicine. We have all the services these experts need to treat our patients under one roof and now under two roofs. We feel like if you have a spinal problem, we can tell you what it is and what your options are, and all of those options are available here that day. This makes us truly unique, and I don't think there's a practice exactly like this anywhere in the United States. When you're suffering with back pain, it can limit your life. Take away your freedom. When we come back, you'll hear the story of how one person would not let pain take his moment. I don't know that in this day and age, I don't know there's a lot of things that you can do when you're truly in the moment. I mean, I think that's something that's maybe missing in a lot of people's lives. For me, it's been surfing. For more information on spine health, visit southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. He really did listen. He didn't just look at the x-rays and the MRI and tell me what I needed to do. He asked me a lot of questions. Southeastern Spine has made my life a whole lot easier. Um, the doctors are in tune with, with me. What was good about Spine Institute is that he sat me down and listened to me. He was not in a hurry to walk out the door. Welcome back. This edition is called One Patient at a Time because while the Southeastern Spine Institute has grown over the years to help more and more people, we've never lost sight of what's most important, the patient. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. This is so important for so many people who have back problems or neck problems. Why does this make it better for them? This allows us to be even more efficient, Vanessa, than we have in the past with our patients. We're a big practice, we have a lot of doctors, but we really try to treat every patient as the most important case of the day. I think that individualized care speaks volumes. Has that been one of the 
success marks for what you do? That's always the thing that we try to do here. Regardless of how big we get, we treat one patient at a time. How are you getting along? You still having a lot of that pain in your left shoulder? We believe because of that, that our patients get excellent care. We try to treat every person like they're special and unique, and they really are. They are. What happens when you lose your freedom? For many people suffering with back or neck pain, their lives seem so limited that they can't do the simple things in life. I was basically a couch potato. I didn't want to make it any worse. I was in pain. So sitting around eating, that kind of thing. Then it got so bad that I just wasn't myself anymore. It was a constant dull pain, um, couldn't play golf couldn't lift weights, couldn't go to the gym. First of all, I couldn't sit in a movie that long. I could not even sit and be comfortable for that long. There were so many things that we couldn't do. It makes you feel so restricted or so out of, out of place. You're supposed to be able to do that with your grandkids. You're supposed to run up and they run up to you and you're supposed to be able to do swinging and you, that's, what you're, that's what life's about. And what Southeastern Spine is about is helping people get back their lives and give them new hope with the latest technologies and procedures. The medical doctors here at the Institute can help you get back to normal life doing things you love. For Glenn Tanner, that love is surfing. For me, it represents freedom, you know, a way to get away from the hustle and bustle and the grind and just, when you know, when you're, when you're riding a wave, you're kind of like really just in the moment. But as people suffering with back pain will tell you, it's hard to enjoy in the moment, but our doctors understand your problem. Glenn's um, uh, joy in life is surfing, and he uh, could not surf because every time he'd lean on a surfboard, check out a, a wave, he had such severe sciatica that he just couldn't get comfortable at all. Well, surfing's something I've done since I was about 12 years old, and it's always been a, a passion in my life. 1964, this is 66, and this is probably around 67, 68. I'm a lover of surfboards, and I don't believe in riding just one. I like to ride shortboards, longboards, hybrids, fish, you know. It's like a set of golf clubs, different boards for different conditions. Glenn's entire family loves surfing. He even met his wife out in the waves. I saw her out surfing, and she's a goofy foot. She rides with her right foot forward. I'm a regular foot. I ride with my left foot forward, and we always joke that we were riding at each other, ran into each other. You get to a point when you have back trouble, where it's not really about, well, can I go surfing, or am I going to be able to do this or that? I was really worried about being able to work and provide for my family. When his back didn't get any better and kept him from doing his job, Glenn knew he had to do something. I called him up and they got me in on Friday about two days later. We did a very thorough exam and he was very, 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 very weak in the muscles in his right calf and ankle. Uh, he had an MRI scan that showed a massive herniated disc on the right side between the fourth and fifth vertebra causing severe compression of that nerve root. The way Dr. Dennis explained it to me, in my circumstance where I had it, the pressure on the nerve running down the leg, that if you let that go too long, you run the risk of permanently damaging that nerve. We were able to do a minimally invasive procedure, completely decompress the nerve root to get the pressure off the nerve. He assured me that um, he thought he could take care of it. And then, of course, my second question was, well, you know, will I be able to get back to surfing? Because that's what I love to do. Ever since Glenn had his surgery, he's, uh, he's back at Folly Beach surfing. Things you did when you were younger and you didn't really, you took it for granted. Um, but I want to continue to be able to provide for my family, of course, and I want to continue to surf as long as I can. And he's given me that back, he really has. I, I would like to thank everybody at Southeastern Spine, especially Dr. Dennis, he did a fantastic job. He did what he said he was gonna do. And I've recovered and back to the, all the things I love to do. The Southeastern Spine Institute has helped thousands of people suffering in pain get back to a full life again. And maybe they can help you too. But I feel just like I used to. I wouldn't restrict it. I can go back to living a life. I have a whole host of things I can do, and it's just changed my life. I'm a new person. I woke up out of pain. I could tell instantly that 
I was not hurting anymore. Yeah, it changed my life. Um, yeah, it changed it, but it, more than that, it gave it back to me. For more information on spine health, visit southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. Once again, your host, Vanessa Hill. Did you know that spine technology is constantly evolving? It's like your cell phone or computer. If it's five years old, it's basically outdated. That's why the Southeastern Spine Institute thrives to stay one step ahead, not only with new technologies, but more efficient ways to help patients. It's not that we just have the best technology, but we have doctors that are focused on only that problem, and everybody gears themselves towards only your spine problem. That's what I went into medicine for, is to try and help these patients at situations where we've never been able to do things like this before. Well, hopefully we're gonna get you a lot better here yeah. today. I don't like telling a patient we're at the end of the road and there's nothing else to do. What I recommended we would do is take the pressure off of this level. Here at the Spine Institute, we explore all of these options, and when we find a, a new technique that we feel is beneficial to our patients, stay on top of these and, and push the, the field in this area. I had the X left where they come in from the side. It was small incisions, less trauma. The healing time is much, much easier. We're always seeking out the newest technologies available to bring them back to Southeastern Spine and truly keep us one step ahead. We want to be one step ahead here, and we've tried to be from the day that we opened, but we have to be now. Our patients demand that we be one step ahead. And so I jokingly say that we now want to be two steps ahead. Part of now staying two steps ahead is the expansion of the practice, adding a second building to the medical campus, and now having all areas of spine medicine in the same location. It's part of being efficient and another way to get people back to their busy lives as quickly as possible. And I was scared that it was going to be just you know, walking through, getting it done, next, next, and it wasn't like that. They're all kind. They, they give you the time. Their whole department works in and out. I watched how they single-handedly gave me back my husband, gave us back our family life. When we come back, you'll meet someone who's got a real pain in the neck. It's no joking matter when it limits your life and the way you feel. Oh, it made me feel old. <laughs> old and useless, actually. I've always been pretty independent, and it was like I couldn't do anything. For more information on spine health, visit southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment. Once again, your host, Vanessa Hill. Have you ever experienced continuous neck pain so badly that it forced you to stop doing the things you love to do? I had given up golf, I would given up swimming, I would given up even bike riding. When your body hurts, it can also affect the way you feel about yourself. It was just constantly with me from the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep. And getting to sleep was a problem. Sometimes staying asleep was a problem. So it was just that constancy of pain that wore me out. So you might call it depression, frustration. I just knew I was tired of it. So Becky decided to take care of herself. She had heard of all of the good work being done at the Southeastern Spine Institute, so she called them and got in to see a doctor. The minute Dr. Dennis walked in, I thought I was in good hands. He's very calming, he's conservative, he listened to what I had to say. Rebecca's an avid swimmer. We saw her initially with severe pain and weakness in her left shoulder and arm. With our vast experience in many different areas of spine medicine, we can pinpoint your problem and offer you a wide array of treatment and options many times on your first visit. First day I was here when we decided to try the injection. Um, I went right downstairs within 15 minutes, had it done, was out of here and home. We have options that range from physical therapy at a state-of-the-art rehabilitation center okay. to injections to surgery in two outpatient surgery suites, non-operative care. We're more like a hospital than a doctor's office. 
did the test, explained them all to me in detail. We took a conservative approach. Most of our patients follow a conservative approach, which also means non-operative. The Southeastern Spine Institute has many ways to treat these patients. When you have a back problem, there's seldom something that you have to do. There are usually choices that you can make. Again, it's the very rare patient who has to have surgery. The vast majority of patients find long-lasting results from the many types of non-operative care found here at Southeastern Spine. All right. You have to remind me, is one side bothering you more than the other? Not necessarily. About the same? Okay. They don't feel like you have to have surgery, though, down the road. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, a souvenir for the road. So that's the needle. That's the level we went in. Pain in particular can be influenced by a number of different issues. We like to know more about the patient's uh, medical history uh, outside of just spine-related disorders. All of it's part of just doing a, a thorough job. All right, let's get you going. Thank you. We do epidural injections and other types of spinal injections in an effort to try to treat a patient without having to have surgery. But sometimes, a spine problem just can't be corrected with these treatments alone. I went to physical therapy, which is very good there. I felt very confident. I got very strong, but it didn't alleviate my problem. I uh, went to their pain management clinic, got some shots, helped for a little bit. Rebecca had an injection, uh, which temporarily 100% relieved her pain, but it was short-lived. So the minute that Dr. Dennis saw that these efforts were not helping. He said, well, I think we need to do surgery. For the small percentage of patients that have a structural problem that needs to be corrected surgically, we offer the most advanced, minimally invasive technologies in the country. After Becky tried everything and wasn't able to get the relief she needed, she decided on an operation. I had actually two discs that are involved. One was severely stenosed, and the other one is moderate to severe. But did you know that Southeastern Spine is also conservative when it comes to deciding just how best to proceed with the surgery? He recommended only doing one, and then we could always do the other if that didn't take care of the problems. Good confirmation that if we do that space and leave the others alone, I think you've got a real good chance of solving this problem. The extensiveness of doing two-level surgery is uh, much more drastic than doing one level. So was the operation a success? Was Becky able to get back to doing the things she loves? I am pain-free and feeling great. I got my life back. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, too. Being able to do the things with my grandkids that I want to do, being able to be outdoors like I like to be. No, I'm very happy. He made a big difference in my life. He said, Becky, what you're experiencing is absolutely normal. Be patient. And he was so right. So he always, always gave me confidence that it was going to turn out OK. Did you know that it's possible to have a problem with your spine without actually having back or neck pain? Sometimes numbness or a pain in your arms or legs can be a sign of something else. I never felt my neck hurt, okay? I always felt my shoulder hurt. I always felt my arm hurt. So my being naive and uneducated about what's making what hurt, um, I never put two and two together. It's certainly understandable that patients uh, experiencing a severe pain that is new might be afraid to come into the doctor, but they really shouldn't be. And as an athlete and a guy and all that, it's like, oh, I'll overcome it. You know, give me a piece of leather. If you did have a serious problem and you pursued some form of uh, therapy or exercise on your own, then you could actually make the problem worse. I find that most patients are afraid uh, that a severe pain may be related to something life-threatening, such as cancer, or may think that because it's a severe pain that they will definitely need a surgery. And that's just not necessarily the case. What we can offer is the ability to look inside your spine and tell you exactly what your problem is. Our focus is on the spine, and if there's a problem within the spine, we will find it and said, man, let's do it on MRI. It sounds like you got some nerve issues going on, probably caused from a disc. And uh, they took MRI and found it. And then that's when Dr. Johnson started educating me on what was going on. 
We always take time to explain exactly what their problem is, show them the MRI, explain what treatments we have for them, and offer them a plan that they fully understand. He sits down and explains to you, this is where your problem is, this is what we plan to do, this is where we need to go. I have all, all the faith in the world in Dr. Johnson, and he shoots you straight. I welcome that. Shoot me straight. And uh, he does that. Was everything was point blank. It was precise in what he told me. A lot of them will tell you, well, we need to do this, we do. Southeastern's not like that. They want to fix you. They want to fix you where you can go back to living again. Whatever your problem is, we have a treatment for it. We're renowned for trying to help people avoid spine surgery. In fact, most of our doctors here are not surgeons. That's our goal here is to uh, obviously to prevent patients from requiring any type of surgical intervention. And the, the faster that we see the patients and, and get that diagnosis and get treatment started, the better chances that we have of avoiding anything more invasive such as surgery. Initially, I thought I was going to need surgery. Um, but through physical therapy, I'm feeling a ton better. And I'm sure I'll be back to 100% very soon. So more often than not, we're able to get patients back to their active lifestyles back to work um, without uh, going further. You may sit at home now on the couch with the remote control and not be able to do anything where after being with us for a little while, you can get back to functioning again. I want my patients to be able to get out of the house and be able to uh, go live again. You're never going to be any younger or healthier than you are today. So if you're in pain, you need to get your life back and the sooner the better. You may remember Ricky Sullivan, whom we've talked with throughout the show. We wanted to bring you his entire story, but we ran out of time. So tune in to our next edition. You'll hear this golf pro's remarkable success story, and you'll meet his family. Not knowingly, I was basically becoming a different person. Because um, somebody could be talking to me, or I could be talking to them. And my focus is on, dang, my arm's hurting. We hope you enjoyed the show and learned a little more about spine health. Remember, our stories are about actual spine patients getting back to enjoying their lives again. You know, you don't have to suffer with back or neck pain. Come see if the Southeastern Spine Institute can help you too. Maybe you'll be happy to tell your story on camera during our next edition of the Age of Spinal Medicine. I've got a life I always dreamed of back, not the old one. And I know that I won't have to go back to that old one. They're not pro-surgery, which was great for me. Uh, you know, I got surgery when I had to have surgery. They did surgery when I had to have surgery. And that's a big thing for me. He's always liked to go hiking and jogging and cycling and things like that. And that's stuff I shied away from, you know, because you're trying to protect your disc and you're worried about it. And um, But now I can enjoy those things with him. And uh, so it's made a big difference in my relationship as well. I know what I had done wasn't nearly as severe as what a lot of people have done. But it was still upset my, turned my life upside down. And I was able to get back to, to, to doing what I love to do. And thank you for telling me that he could do it and it was gonna be okay. For more information on spine health, visit southeasternspine.com or call 866-SPINE-50 for an appointment.